In the blink of an eye, our modern world, dependent on technology for every aspect of daily life, could be thrust back into the dark ages. A colossal solar storm with energy enough to obliterate the internet and take out electronics globally could be on its way to Earth. Discover how this unprecedented event could unfold and what it means for civilization as we know it. For years, NASA has been monitoring solar flares and storms, discovering that these cosmic events can unleash energy far surpassing any nuclear bomb. The impact of a solar storm on Earth could be catastrophic. But how can the same phenomenon responsible for the awe-inspiring auroras pose such a grave threat toward our technology-driven society? Is there a cause for concern? A solar storm, in essence, is a formidable eruption of energy and particles from the Sun, capable of reaching Earth and significantly impacting its magnetic field and atmosphere. This interaction has profound implications leading to geomagnetic disturbances that can disrupt electrical grids, satellite operations, GPS services and radio communications. Essentially, the backbone of our modern technological infrastructure. Solar storms emerge from the Sun's dynamic and ever-evolving activity. At the heart of these phenomena is the Sun's magnetic field, created by plasma movement within its core. This magnetic field is far from static. It undergoes continuous transformation, twisting and warping as the Sun itself rotates. Occasionally, the magnetic field lines become so intertwined that they break, unleashing tremendous amounts of energy and plasma into the cosmos. This event, known as a solar flare, represents the most common form of solar storm. Accompanying solar flares, we often observe another manifestation of solar storms, coronal mass ejections, CMEs. CMEs consist of colossal clouds of plasma and magnetic fields expelled from the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, hurtling through space at millions of kilometers per hour and carrying vast quantities of solar material. When these CMEs encounter Earth, they can compress and reshape our planet's magnetic field, inducing currents and voltages potent enough to harm electrical infrastructure. Rather than being sporadic or infrequent, solar storms adhere to a predictable pattern governed by the Sun's magnetic cycle. Despite their regularity, the majority of these storms are either too weak or too remotely positioned to significantly affect Earth. The Sun's magnetic field experiences a polarity reversal roughly every 11 years, a cycle during which solar activity and the appearance of sunspots, dark regions indicating heightened magnetic activity, vary. The climax of this cycle, known as the solar maximum, is a period marked by increased solar storm activity. The previous solar maximum occurred in 2014, with anticipation building towards the next peak expected in 2025. To grasp the profound impact of solar storms on Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, and to comprehend their significance to our technological infrastructure, it is essential to explore the interaction of these storms with two critical layers of Earth's space environment shaped by solar influence the magnetosphere and the ionosphere. The magnetosphere is the region of space where Earth's magnetic field prevails over the solar wind, the stream of charged particles emanating from the sun. The magnetosphere is shaped like a bullet with a nose that points toward the sun and a tail extending away from it. While the magnetosphere shields Earth from much of solar wind, some particles can breach it through gaps or fissures in the magnetic shield, or by tracing the magnetic field lines linking Earth and the Sun. On the other hand, the ionosphere is the layer of Earth's upper atmosphere ionized by solar radiation, leading to the loss or gain of electrons by some atoms and molecules, thereby creating charged particles. This ionized layer plays a crucial role in radio communication by reflecting and refracting radio waves, allowing them to travel over long distances across the globe. When a solar storm strikes, it can induce two types of disturbances in the magnetosphere and ionosphere, geomagnetic and ionospheric storms. 
a geomagnetic storm manifests as a temporary disturbance in Earth's magnetic field, typically triggered by the impact of a CME or high-speed solar wind stream. Conceptually, it can be likened to a wave of magnetic force striking the Earth, causing it to resonate like a hammer striking a bell. This phenomenon induces electric currents in lengthy conductors such as power lines, pipelines, and railway tracks, leading to overloads, surges, and failures. Geomagnetic disturbances also have the potential to affect the accuracy of availability of GPS signals, vital for numerous applications like aviation, maritime navigation, military operations, and the emergency services. An ionospheric storm is a temporary disruption in Earth's ionosphere, resulting from the influx of solar particles and alterations in Earth's magnetic field. You can imagine it as an electrical storm illuminating the sky and interfering with radio waves, similar to a lightning storm disrupting a radio broadcast. Such a storm temporarily alters Earth's upper atmosphere due to solar radiation interfering with the propagation of radio waves crucial for communication methods like cell phones, radio, television, and satellite communication. Ionospheric disturbances can also compromise the performance and reliability of radar systems, essential for air traffic control, weather forecasting, and missile defense. Solar storms also pose risks to human health and safety, particularly for astronauts, pilots, and passengers exposed to heightened radiation levels. These events can elevate the radiation dose received by such individuals, potentially resulting in acute or chronic effects such as nausea, fatigue, and even cataracts. The grave impacts of solar storms are not merely theoretical. They have occurred in the past and remain a looming possibility for the future. One of the most notable instances of solar storm havoc was the Carrington event of 1859. This event was named after Richard Carrington, a British astronomer who observed a powerful solar flare on September 1, 1859. The next day, a massive CME hit Earth, causing geomagnetic disturbances that were so strong that they made auroras visible as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. Moreover, the Carrington event wreaked havoc on the telegraph system, the primary means of communication at the time. Telegraph lines were fried, sparks flew from the equipment, causing fires, and some operators reported electrical shocks. Another significant solar storm occurred in 1989, known as the Quebec Blackout. On March the 13th of that year, a CME triggered a geomagnetic storm that wreaked havoc on the power grid of Quebec in Canada. The storm generated currents and voltages that overwhelmed the system, causing circuit breakers to trip and cutting off power to millions. The blackout lasted for about nine hours, affecting not only homes and businesses, but also hospitals, airports, schools, and public transportation. The Quebec blackout also had ripple effects in other regions, such as the northeastern United States, where some power plants and transmission lines experienced problems. As we stand on the brink of the next solar maximum predicted to peak around 2025, the immediacy of the solar storm threat becomes more pronounced. This upcoming peak in solar activity isn't just a date on the astronomical calendar. It represents a period during which the odds of experiencing a significant solar storm increase dramatically. The last solar maximum in 2014 was a wake-up call, showing the sun's potential to disrupt our technological infrastructure. Yet as we approach another peak, scientists and researchers are working tirelessly to refine our prediction capabilities and develop technologies to shield our society from the sun's capricious nature. Recent events have underscored the urgency of this threat. Minor solar storms have already caused fluctuations in GPS accuracy and brief disruptions in satellite communications, serving as reminders of our vulnerability. These instances, though manageable, are rehearsals for potentially more severe events. Recognizing this, global efforts are underway to enhance our preparedness. For instance, NASA and the European Space Agency ESA, have launched missions like the Parker Solar Probe and the Solar Orbiter to gather critical data on the Sun's behavior and its ejections.
This information is vital for improving our ability to predict solar storms and their trajectories with greater accuracy. Moreover, advancements in technology and infrastructure resilience are pivotal in mitigating the impacts of solar storms. Power grids across the world are being upgraded with solar storm forecasting in mind, incorporating more robust transformers and automated shutdown systems to prevent the kind of widespread outages experienced in Quebec in 1989. On the communication front, new satellite designs include enhanced shielding and redundant systems to maintain operations during solar events. Additionally, international collaborations are strengthening the global response strategy, sharing data and best practices to ensure a coordinated defense against the sun's fury. These proactive measures highlight a shift from mere awareness to action, embodying our response to the looming threat of solar storms. By understanding the science, acknowledging the risks, and investing in preventative strategies, we equip ourselves to face the next solar maximum not with fear, but with confidence.